Yeah, are they yeeting it? Are they yeeting it? <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. That was a chopper with three guys. It's been five days since the V16 playtest went live. There's been a few patches in between, but today, a patch containing two interesting changes has been updated to the playtest servers. On screen will be the patch notes from today, and marked in red are the two interesting changes we're going to be focusing on for this video. First we'll focus on the most significant change, which is momentum, and then we'll move on to the helicopter flight model tweaks. We'll be doing a direct side-by-side -side comparison, so apologies if you get sore eyes or some form of motion sickness. In this first test, I'm continuously sprinting, just to see how the momentum affects sudden turns. In this test, we're doing a similar thing, apart from releasing shift before turning, to see how the momentum affects sudden turns. Next, I wanted to test how zigzagging has been affected by the changes, and see how much I could get away with. I also wanted to test a certain situation where you're covering one angle and have to quickly switch to another. So on this clip I'm quick peeking and then moving and quick peeking another angle. Finally I wanted to test just general movement running along the footpath through alleyways, doorways and around corners. Next I just want to go over my thoughts on it. The new momentum definitely does reduce the amount of zigzagging, but there are some issues with the momentum. It has this unresponsiveness feeling, so when you turn, it feels like you're drifting, or as others have put it, sliding on ice. As you're turning, it forces your character to move out wide, and it feels like you're fighting your character in the game, instead of having a fluid motion of turning. When I was doing the test of covering one angle and quickly switching to another, the slightest speed increase of me holding shift just to move from one angle to the other in a short distance, it still felt like I was fighting the game. It was almost like the wall next to me had some gravitational pull and was pulling me towards it. In saying this though, it is definitely a step in the right direction. We have needed a bit more momentum. Explosive and sudden turns and twists were becoming a bit more common as people realised you could constantly zigzag. But the current implementation does need some tweaking just to make it feel more responsive and more fluid and natural. I do suggest you guys test it out for yourself, as it feels completely different to how it looks. Next thing is the tweaks to the flight model, and on screen will be a little more information that I found in Discord regarding the changes. Straight off the bat, I can feel the difference, especially with pitching and acceleration and deacceleration. I'll be honest, I'm not the best pilot around and I was having difficulty in landing in the previous test build. But with this latest tweaks, it was significantly easier to land without completely damaging the hull, or bouncing off the ground and your helicopter spinning like a spin top. That's if you didn't outright explode from hull damage. So this is quite a nice positive change, and it appears to be working quite nicely. The flight model does need a few more tweaks still, as does the control scheme, it needs to be fleshed out a little more. But this is just the first iteration of the flight model and things that come with it, so we can expect more changes and additions in the future. Anyway guys, this is pretty much it, this is all I really wanted to cover. Hopefully it's given a little more insight to those who haven't opted into the playtest yet and just wanted to get a little bit more information. Anyways guys, I'll catch you in the next one.